update versus fix update. What's the difference? You've most probably encountered both of these methods while coding in Unity and I'm going to explain them to you once and for all. First, let's define them. Update runs once per frame, which means it's affected by the frame rate. Fixed update is called at fixed intervals of time in line with the physics engine which means that it can't be affected by frame rate. So what do we use both of these methods for? For update, since it runs every frame, it would make sense to include logic that needs to be executed every frame. This could include getting your player input or non-physics based movement like using transform and checking for any input events. Now notice I said non-physics based movement. Well, for fixed update, it makes sense to include physics based logic because this would mean the behavior is consistent Consistent as it's not affected by the frame rate and it's in line with the physics engine updates. This would mean you would include things like rigid body movement, checking for collisions and adding force. But what would happen if we did put everything in update? Well, you'd get some pretty inconsistent behavior. As the physics logic won't be in sync with the physics engine, it will cause issues. For example, if a rigid body is being controlled within update and it collides with an object in a frame where update is called but fixed update is not the physics engine may not detect the collision. As a result, you could get unexpected behavior like your object passing through other colliders without triggering a collision event. On the flip side of that, if you put all of your logic into fix update, you'd have a different set of issues. Since fix update is called at set intervals, it means your logic will also be executed at set intervals. And this can cause inconsistencies with things like animation and transform based movement. Let's say you have an animation that you want to be playing smoothly each frame, but you put that logic in fixed update. So now it's only updating at the set intervals and this can cause choppy or delayed animation feedback. You could also get a delay in getting player input and this delay can make the controls feel unresponsive and slow. For instance, if you want a player to jump and you press the jump button between the fixed intervals, by the time fixed update runs your logic, you might not be jumping anymore. So your character is not going to jump when expected. So then the solution is to use both update and fixed update for non-physics related logic and physics related logic respectively. This is the first video in my Unity 101 beginner series. So if this helped your understanding, don't miss out on all the exciting stuff that I have planned.